grace and peace and good morning everybody praying all is well with all of you today is thursday november the 9th and i'm definitely getting ready to take the morning a little slow just because <laughs> i'm feeling pretty good i do want some breakfast um but today is one of those mornings where i just kind of want to like get in the word before i do anything so i got in hebrew a little bit this morning um it's actually the bible verse of the day it's hebrew 4 and 9 i believe so i read that a little bit and just kind of read above um just for some more context but i do want to do my hair at some point today and i want to redo tiktok and it'll also go to instagram reels i want to redo that video that i tried to do in my last vlog when i was in maryland and it did not work out like and what actually happened with that was the phone i had recorded it on ran out of storage and i didn't know so i kept checking it as i was recording but even even when i got done when i saved the video in the app it only saved what it could everything else was gone and i don't know why it didn't give me a warning saying hey we can't save all of it like clear some space first or something it got rid of all of my footage so that is the last time i will record fully in an app i'm going to go back to my original way of doing things which is recorded on the regular camera and then just you know export it to whichever app i'm going to use and then um do it so but outside of that i am more than likely instagram reels i want to use like my camera camera like i want to get back to using like my big boy camera i've been so focused on like, trying to get tiktok content that i'm like oh use my phone use my phone but i'm also like not invest all this money in these cameras just to go back to an iphone when i could have just saved all my money um and just not used a you know one of those bigger cameras to begin with but he's able but outside of all of that i hope you guys are feeling well today i'm feeling pretty good i want to see like I don't know what I want for breakfast though. That's the million dollar question. So someone on TikTok has this beautiful idea. They call it a D&D &D day. So basically their phone is legit on do not disturb. They're not bothered by anybody or anything. So obviously they take the day off and it don't matter what's going on. That's the only like tricky thing. It don't matter what's going on. But your phone is on D&D &D and you are not getting bothered by absolutely nobody. I don't care what you need. I'm out of office. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. But anywho, anywho, anywho. I'm kind of waking up this morning a little off. Like, I refuse to, like, feel this off. So, I'm going to get myself together and come back when I'm ready to, like, film and everything. Because I want to set up my, um, I do blow dryer. So, so, I'll show you guys that, too. So, I'm going to have, like, literally, like, three setups. I'm going to have one setup for my camera to go for Instagram, one for my phone. And then, of course, y'all. We're going to figure this thing out. I'll be back in a little bit. <clears throat> Also, you guys, also, you guys, these slippers, my legs are ashy, but like I got these slippers from Target. Look how cute they are. They're like the little slipper on Ugg dupes. I think they're really cute. Um, and also my new blow dryer or hair dryer. Now, listen, I'm not one to spend a whole bunch of money on a blow dryer. I saw one in Ulta that is so sleek so small it's a lot of things and i want it so bad but will i pay 239 dollars for a blow dryer no <laughs> so this one seems promising we're gonna test this one out like my old faithful let me tell y'all something this joint from con con air this right here has last i probably had this blow dryer for two and a half years maybe two years and I'll be honest with you, this thing has gotten me through so many hairstyles from when I had my curls all the way to now to silk presses. But when I was in my hotel in Maryland, I didn't bring this with me. I used theirs in the room and the power on that money was like, it just showed me like, okay, this one will suffice if I have nothing else, but I definitely need something with more power. But mind you, this was, this is originally like $16. I got it on sale for 12. So you can only imagine how much power that's gonna like push out. So this one is the Infinity Pro by Conair and the one in the hotel was by Conair. And I can only imagine the hotel ain't gonna spend with so much on a blow dryer for each room. So, and this was, I got it from Target and this was like $25. So I am interested to see how this one does. Like now some people got that Dyson, some people got, you know, X, Y, and Z. I ain't paying that amount. The only way I have it if it's gifting, so Dyson, hey. But I don't know 
know if I pay that much for, I don't know, that's just very expensive, so. But anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. I'm really excited to use this because I've been using the other one for so long, the point that I'm just like, eh. It's not broken, don't fix it, like I'm cool. But again, after using the other one in the hotel, I definitely wanted something different. And look at the color. I thought it was super, I don't know, super cool, but it has like the hot, warm, cool, high, low, off, and then you have the cold mode, which that one does not have a cold mode, so I really like this one because I remember in, um, just like with certain hairstyles, especially when I had my curls, cold mode, it's like freezes the hair. But once I get this joint off, I'm gonna get started on my hair. Also, there's this thing tonight, and I'm like, I've been contemplating going. Basically, basically it's like a little event at my mall. It's in one of these stores that I like to shop in. I'm like a little holiday, I'm like a little holiday thing, and I thought about going. And this is really gonna like test my ability to go out alone and socialize. And that's what I've been trying to kind of do the hard thing and like force myself to do. Because I don't wanna be that person that only can go out when she has her friends with her and then she's like riding the back of her friends to carry conversation and so forth. And I, I just don't wanna be that person. So this is me trying to put myself out there more and yeah. So I was thinking about doing that and then just filming like a TikTok of like getting ready. So I definitely don't want to be doing my hair then. It's at five, it's from five to eight. So I'll probably leave my house about maybe like 5.30. I don't want to be like the first person there, obviously. So using my old faithful. All right, you guys, I am done with my hair. I'm getting ready to go put some clothes on and then I'm gonna go do some editing and then I have a few things, I have a few tasks that are on my to-do list that I need to tackle. But my hair came out good. I'm really happy of how it looks. Um, I need to go eat something because I'm feeling a little famished right now. I would like to eat something. I have some leftovers from last night so I'll probably just eat that just that way. I don't have to go out and go get anything. I'm gonna export or import my stuff and then um, I'm gonna go eat because Avery needs Food as well. I'll come back to that because I'm about to starve. <sighs> and like I said, Avery needs some, um, Avery needs some food too. Where my baby at? Squid. <laughs> you laying in the sun, mama? Hey. Hey, boo. What you doing? Can y'all see her? Look at her right there. Hi, boo. What are you doing? You okay? Baby, why do you look so sad, mama? Y'all, I have a little bit of nostalgia on the TV. I can't remember what the TV show was called, but it's like this superhero dude. I used to watch it all the time as a kid. I don't know, like, I was telling y'all on the other vlog, I was like, sometimes I like to watch cartoons because that just breaks me away from reality like sometimes watching tv shows is like too much reality on already being in reality so i'm like uh, -uh. so sometimes when i watch tv i'll be cutting on spongebob i'll cut on a cartoon i've still been enjoying my little utensils i freaking love these things they're so bougie some really good money spent on those I'm gonna heat these up real quick. Oh, y'all, I forgot to tell you. So I almost burnt my house up the other night. Like I, and it was so crazy of me, but I didn't know, or I knew, well, I forgot that I was like, oh, I'm gonna make me some tea. I put the joint, I put the water in the pot and everything, and y'all, I went upstairs, started filming content, cause I was working on it. I was working on like three campaigns at once. So I did that, came upstairs, was working, 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 and I kept smelling like, I kept smelling something. And I said, what the heck is that smell? Y'all, I burned my little kettle pot. Like the water, I left it boiling for so long to the point that the water evaporated. The water evaporated and then like, it started melting the pot. So what I was smelling in the house was the pot like melting. I said, what in the world am I doing in here? Girl, I called my mom. I said, mom, I said, the smell in the house. I said, is this okay for me to like be smelling? Like, do I need to get a hotel room for the night? Do I need to come stay with you? Like, 
what do I need to do? Because I don't want to be up in here and then smell something and then it take me on up out of here. I had to make sure, honey, because that joint was crazy. But yeah, my little pot is gone. I need to give me a new kettle pot now because I still like to make my tea at home, like my digestive tea, my relaxation tea, like all these teas. And I no longer have a pot. I mean, like a little kettle pot, so. My little stove all naked again. <laughs> it was definitely a careless mistake, but all is well. And it was so funny is that Avery kept barking. I was like, what the heck is she barking at? I just thought, like she always, she's always barking. And somebody left a comment calling Avery a yapping dog. Not too much, okay? But anyway, um, she was down here barking and I just honestly thought she was doing her routine barking cause like my neighbors. Yeah, I just thought she was barking at the neighbor and girl, I came downstairs, she was barking at the kitchen. She even knew something was up. She was like, uh-uh mama, like it's not smelling right in here. Something is going on. I don't like this. The show is called Danny phantom let me know if y'all remember uh, what that show is grace and peace and good morning everybody praying all is well with all of you today is november 13th and it is monday and i actually have not vlogged in probably like a couple of days just because doing the hard thing we're fighting through some stuff got me a celsius this morning I want to go to this other coffee shop. They usually have really good coffee, but I'm going to need to like, oh, one second, it's my sister. Yep. I mean, how did you get a louder ladder in your house? <laughs> what do you mean, how? <laughs> what do you mean, how? Random ass what? What? Ladder, Jesus! Embers. I've had this ladder for going on two years now. Cause I'm so short and I be having to do everything myself. So I was like, child, I had to put curtains up. I said, I can't reach the top of the thing, so I need a ladder. All right guys, I am back. It has been probably like an hour and a half, if not two hours. I ended up getting on the phone and was just trying to like handle some other stuff. So anyway, I came downstairs so I could grab my laptop because, <coughs> excuse me, I have a couple of edits I need to make for a brand. And then once I'm done with that, I'm gonna do a few other things. I need to do like a bucket load of laundry. There's a lot I need to do, honestly. So we're gonna like handle some stuff. And y'all, when I tell you, I'm all for taking a break, but when it comes to vlogging, I hate taking a break because it is hard a little bit. It's hard a little bit to kind of get back in the, in the groove of things, but I'm fighting it because I don't wanna lose my momentum because Vlogmas will be here before you know it and we'll be back in this thing. So I wanna make sure I stay on top of everything. Um, but yeah, I have a few edits that I wanna make and, but y'all, I need to talk. I need to vent, I need to, I need to talk, okay? I need to talk. And y'all have been, again, a safe space for me whether you are here for good reasons or not there is nothing more like i mean sad if you want to say sad whatever the case is but like i'm at a place where i'm like man i really and yes two of my nails popped off i'm gonna have to redo them but i am really to a place where i'm like man you cannot change yourself for people who don't want to change themselves and it's really sad when you are really trying to like trust people and you know trust that they have your best intentions at heart and just all these things and they really don't it can be very devastating because putting yourself out there to love people to trust people to um, have them in your space have them in your life it's a lot i don't know about y'all but it's a lot to have people in my life and to trust certain people in my life and um that's the only way i can really describe it that it's a lot it's a lot <laughs> and um and what i mean by that is there's just these things that happening in my life to where you know i truly do trust god i truly do believe that he has my best interest at heart i truly believe that the people that he has surrounded me with are good people and all these other things but sometimes you really have to leave people where they last disrespected you and what i mean by that is there's really no other need for conversation there's really no other need for apologies um and sometimes you know how we'll say like oh you have to learn how to move on with even even without an apology no sometimes you have to move on with even without even wanting the apology like dust yourself off wipe your hands of it and don't even want the apology even if it comes 
cool but if not you're not phased like don't even look for the apology don't even care for the apology press on you know what i'm saying because if people are really in god like they say they'll know where they've messed up they'll know where you know certain things were not what it needs to be whatever whatever and because of that you just kind of have to let god deal with them you've done what you're supposed to do you've covered yourself you've prayed you've you've been doing what you're supposed to do but then people will just you know act how you want so saying all this to say you sometimes will have to leave people where they are and be okay with that be okay with leaving them at the last place they disrespected you. No closure, no conversation, no last sentiments, no going off, no cussing them out, no retaliation, nothing. Just be done with it. And that is power. Grace and peace and good morning. I feel like I'm always singing. But grace and peace and good morning, everybody. Praying all is well with all of you today is Tuesday. November the 14th how how is it the 14th halfway through November already how how I'm actually kind of concerned about time right now because how it is November the 14th it is a Tuesday and I'm really excited because this week is honestly a little bit busy um because I have a lot of work to do but outside of work I have a few leisure things to do um I go get my hair done on Thursday and I'm really excited. I'm not gonna tell y'all what it is yet. It may be in this vlog, depending on how long this vlog is currently. As I think, cause I try to edit as I like vlog. So I don't think this vlog is that long yet. So honestly, my new hairstyle may be in this vlog. I don't know, but I have to go all the way to Charlotte, North Carolina. So <laughs> I'm gonna spend like a day or two in Charlotte, depending on what I decide to do. Cause I thought about going to, well, I thought about getting me a hotel for literally like a day, like a night. Because again, I get my hair done on that Thursday. Well, this Thursday. So I thought about getting a room on Thursday and then just book it for that night. And then I check in, I mean, I check out friday and then just head back home that way depending on what time i'm done with my hair you know i can just stay in charlotte so i don't know i'm thinking about it not sure what i want to do yet just getting a hotel is like extra money to spend and i don't know if i just if i don't need to spend it i won't but my hair appointment is at 1 30 and my sister has gotten this style before and she said it took a while and my hair is a lot thicker than hers so in my mind i'm thinking okay my appointment's at 1 30 I get my hair done. Let's just say hypothetically, I get done at latest five o'clock, five o'clock. And like five is pushing it cause like it shouldn't take that long. Let's say five o'clock. So then that's me having to drive three, three hours cause it's three hours away. I would have to drive three hours home. So I would be in the pitch black darkness, which I was gonna be in darkness anyway because it gets dark at 5 30, six o'clock now. Um, so I'm just like, well, the darkness doesn't bother me. I don't mind driving in the night, but it's just the fact that it would be so late. And I just, you know, with having to probably stop and charge, I just really don't care to like do that. So I would prefer just have a place to stay in Charlotte that night. You see what I'm saying? I was talking to Sunny yesterday and she was like, I will come with you if I wasn't getting my hair done on Thursday. So her and I both will be getting our hair done. So I'm not sure what she's getting, but I know me, I'm, this is something, I've had something like this before. I'm not gonna say too much though, because some look and, and hear me out. I know if you scroll, if it's in this vlog, I'm sure you'll probably scroll to the end to go ahead and see it. Cause I be doing people's content like that. I'm like, oh, oh you wanna save it to the end? Uh -huh. Let me scroll through and then I'll come back. But, uh, but anyway, if you end up scrolling through, I hope you like the hair. If not, I mean, obviously I'm speaking in like future tense. Cause as I'm speaking right now, it's Tuesday. It's not even Thursday yet. So regardless of what I end up doing, I know I need to get Avery I don't know. I want someone to watch Avery for me. See what my sister is doing. I don't, I'm, I don't know. I do have a hair appointment today, though. I am going to get my hair treated at my regular hairstylist's uh, place. So um, I have to stay up on my treatments just because I want the health of my hair to stay great, even in its heat train phase. So I like to stay really consistent with those. Um, so I'm gonna go do that. Avery has a grooming appointment at 1.30. I have a meeting at 12. So there's like a lot of like back-to-back -back stuff going on. So this morning I've been handling like some leasing stuff. Um, Y'all. I can't believe I've been here this long already, but it's time to renew my lease. And <laughs> um, I put myself on a month to month 
with this lease because if I'm honest, I really didn't want to like tie myself back into a whole nother year because I don't know exactly what I'm going to do in terms of like my living arrangements. Um, I have an idea of what I would like to do. I'm waiting on God first because I really want to make the right move. Um, you know, when it comes to like, where you gonna live at? Like, I'm just not ready to move anywhere and just say, oh, let's just see what happens. No, I would rather wait on God a little bit and see what he says before I move somewhere that I ain't got no business and then I'm just looking crazy. So with all of that being said, I'm gonna wait. I'll probably do a little bit of reading this morning, just kind of get my mind together. I'm going to make sure that I only bring a book with me to my hairdresser. Usually I'm bringing my dag on laptop. I'm usually doing a bunch of work while I get my hair done. No more of that. No more of that. I am definitely for sure not bringing anything because I just, I don't want to. But anyway, I'm about to chill out a little bit, um, handle some stuff. My living room is kind of a mess. Like this right here is a mess. I'm still trying to figure out what to do. Actually, I just cleaned out my storage closet. Avery, what you doing? I just cleaned out my storage closet so it looks so much neater in here now. I had stuff like just laid out. I couldn't even walk in here. Like it's still a lot of stuff in here, but I mean, it's a storage closet. So I mean, I have paper towels, tissue, just other miscellaneous things like my little cleaning stuff here. So there's just a lot. I got my ladder and then this is where my water heater is. I'm gonna be honest with you, this thing is in the way, okay? This is in the way. I wish they would have pushed this joint all the way to the corner because there's so much room over here, y'all. Tell you, there's so much room over here. Like if this was pushed all the way, like I don't know if y'all can see, but there is so much room. <laughs> like I could like scoot some stuff to the corner and get it out of the way, but like the fact it's in the way. It's in the way. But anyway, I'm gonna get situated. Hey you, hey you sweetie. Okay. Yeah, if y'all see her, she needs groom. Her hair is all over the place. Avery, you're so stinking cute. Why are you twitching your lips? You got something to say? You want me to get out your face? Okay. I'm feeling pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. I am doing the hard thing and we are pushing through the hard stuff, okay? We are pushing through it all. And I thank God for his strength and his support and his love, all of the things. Um, yeah, <laughs> we're pushing through all of it. So one thing I will say, and I know I'm kind of rambling, but one thing about being able to do your own nails is that it gets annoying when I get like itchy to want to do a new set. I want to do a whole new set right now and my nails are fresh. Like these short reds are fresh. I've gotten so many compliments on these things. Like I'm really trying to like soak it in and enjoy these while they're here. But baby, there's some more colors I wanna try. There's some more styles I wanna try. There's just like some other stuff that I wanna try. And I am not about to sit here and waste what I just did. I've already started wrapping gifts. y'all <laughs> today is definitely not my day today is definitely not my day but i am currently waiting on the tow truck to come get my car and living where i live is just this is just another notch as to why i do not like living where i live yeah y'all i'm so irritated i'm not gonna lie <laughs> but i'm still sitting here at the groomers waiting for avery to be done um because i wasn't able to leave obviously my car it's still here. I'm still waiting on the tow truck to get here. I'm taking that beautiful time, but I'm trying to be, I mean, I have no choice but to sit here and wait for them. So yeah, I'm gonna just see how the rest of this day goes. I'm trying to remain calm and just chill. I've been waiting over an hour for the tow truck to come. Not sure what's taking them so long, but whatever it is, I'm gonna trust God. And hopefully this tire company can get my car situated. 
BRB. All right, you guys, I have made it home. As an update, the car, unfortunately, nobody in the area had a replacement tire for a Tesla. This is why I cannot wait to move, okay? I cannot wait to move. I cannot stand where I live. But anyway, um, as an update, we did get the car towed into a dealership that is going to replace my tire, but they're overnighting a tire and they'll have it fixed for me first thing tomorrow. Thank God. When I tell you, I have not eaten all day. I'm starving. I'm about to heat up some leftovers. It's only 7.14. It feels so much later, but it's only 7.14. But yeah, but I won't get my, I won't get Moon back until tomorrow. Outside of that, we ain't gonna think about that too much. Amen. We gonna move on, okay? <laughs> we gonna move on. But God is faithful because there is something that came through. Um, it's like a full circle moment. I'll talk to you guys about it a little bit later, but I'm so, so thrilled um, because it's just getting ready to be a very, very, very exciting time. Count it all joy when I go through different situations because this is, this is where, you know, endurance is produced. And my brother said something so profound today. He said, <clears throat> he said, when God gives you something, he gives it to us in the form of process. So... <laughs> I'm excited because the process is happening, but I know the promise is coming, okay? I know it's coming. So because of that, let me not get weird. Let me not get, get you know, whatever. But Avery has been a trooper today. Avery, tell them. She's been such a trooper today. She had to go to the groomers. She's been at the groomers most of the day, which she didn't even really eat before her grooming appointment, which I can't, I couldn't stand that she did that. I was like, you know, she didn't really eat all day, but honey, her and I unintentionally did a fast today. I'm gonna eat these leftovers and I'll be back. Peace everybody, praying all as well with all of you. Today is Thursday, <sighs> November 16th. I'm getting ready to head out. I am going to go get my hair done today. And I'm so excited because it's the first time I'll have tape ends um i've gotten micro links before i don't know i'll put up a picture i don't know if you guys remember like a little earlier this year i got micro links which they were really beautiful but they ate my hair up like they ain't had nothing else to do so that's so why i've honestly was kind of like iffy about even getting more like false hair put in my hair because i've really been enjoying my bob but i want something different especially for like i don't know just kind of going out <laughs> and um, they wanna like record content and stuff like that. So I got myself together. So this is like my little outfit situation. I'm not loving like a half jacket with like something longer underneath. Like this looks weird to me, but I really wanted to, I just got this from Zara. I really wanted to wear it and I really wanted to wear this shirt and I really wanted to wear these jeans. And these are literally like my favorite little boots. So I was like, honestly, even though I don't like it, it's a jacket and it's gonna have to do. So I'm not about to trip. So yeah, but I'm about to sit out Avery some food cause I'll be gone all day. <laughs> but I do wanna make sure she has more than enough food for her. Yeah, so at the end of the day, Avery will have plenty of food. Y'all can't even see me. Yeah, Avery will have plenty of food and then all of that. So. I'm gonna hit you guys up when I get in the car. I'm going to, I'm bringing my work computer with me just so that way I can like knock out some work while I'm sitting there because I'll be there for a while. And we have a long road trip. We have a three hour ride. So I'll hit y'all when I get into the car, BRB. Grace and peace, everybody. I definitely said I was gonna vlog when I got in the car, but I've, I've charged my car, I've been on the phone with my sister. I've been praying, I've been watching Judge Judy. So I've been on the road for, um, about 28 minutes till I get to the next supercharger just because I want to charge back up before I actually get to my destination so I'm making amazing time which is great um feeling pretty good I had drunk a cell I haven't eaten breakfast because I wasn't really hungry but I had uh drank drunk a little celsius like halfway and it gave me energy but that joint started making my stomach hurt so I was like oh maybe not maybe not that but um but anywho I'm super excited, we're headed out. I'm vlogging a little bit. I'm recording a TikTok a little bit, which of course that will be syndicated to Instagram as well. So I'm really excited to see how my hair is gonna turn out. And um, and yeah, but I wanted to vent. Y'all already knew how I am. 
but I just kind of wanted to vent about something real quick, like about God's peace. There is so much in obedience. There is so much in obedience. And sometimes I feel that we really do ourselves a disservice, not just to God, but to ourselves when we're not obedient, when we don't do the things that he asks of us, knowing that, you know, he knows it all, he created it all, you know, all these things, he orchestrated it all. And um, so there have been some hard decisions, you know, I've had to make regarding a few things. There's some things I've had to move around regarding a few things, and I'm not necessarily thrilled about those changes. But I know it was what God asked of me and I have to kind of release my own wants and desires for a moment. Um, not even for a moment, but just, you know, indefinitely, but just release the things that I want for, for God and what he sees fit and what he sees best for me. And as I was just sitting here praying to God, I was just like, you know, at the end of the day, I'm God, I'm just happy that you know me, you know how I think, you know how I feel, you know what I've been doing, you know what I haven't been doing, like you know everything. And even when you're not understood by people, God knows you, you know? So for example, you know, being blamed for things, being like accused of things or people see you in a certain light, it hurts because it's like, if only you really knew, if only God could like let you look into you know my day-to-day -day life you would really know what I do or you would really know how I feel about things or whatever the case is and sometimes you have to just rest in the peace of that alone like God knows you and that's it God knows you and that's it even if people don't understand you completely even if people think you're this way or this way or whatever the case is you know for a fact that God knows you you know yourself and that God knows you and you know again with making certain decisions and stuff and being obedient it's like yes it hurts yes you know some things are disappointing but there does come a feeling of peace and reward outside of something turning around something being different it's just being obedient does feel rewarding because it's like okay god i want to make you proud so like i'm i'm doing the hard thing because sometimes being obedient is the hard thing because it is ultimately us having to surrender things, it's give up certain things, sacrifice certain things, do away with certain things, not do certain things, or do certain things. Um, and that can just be really, really, really tough. Like, so, so, so for instance, you know, I talk about all the time how I really wanna move. Like where I live is like such a small town, there's really nothing around for me to do. And I, and that's coming from someone who is a homebody, who likes to be in the house, who, you know, goes out only to like do a little shopping, go out to eat and go back home. Like I'm not trying to find no party, no kick, like I'm, I, don't, I don't really go anywhere. And that's just, you know, what it's been. But I'm just to that place where I'm like, I really want something different. I really want a different environment. I want to be inspired. I want to be around, you know, closer to certain things where I can explore more and just be, just be out a little bit. And I recognize like it's hard for me to do that with, with where I live. So I am in this current space. So I was telling you guys earlier in the vlog that I put my I had to renew a lease at my townhome and I put it on a month to month lease where I'm not signing to a contract. Now that, it doesn't mean that, that I'm moving right now. It doesn't mean that God said, oh, let's pack it up now and move. It's just, I'm making room for, um, you know, if and when God says, I'm like, okay, well, I'm not tied into a contract. I can pay this month that I'll be here and then I'm out, you know, and be done with it. And, you know, I'm just at that space where it's like, all right, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm very content. Like, I'm content. I'm not, like, rushing it. I definitely don't want to rush a move like that because I still need to do, like, a little shopping around. I need to go to the certain areas that I'm thinking about moving to. I want to, like, look at certain places. And I've already been doing that, setting up some tours, you know, in a perfect world. In a world, if I could have everything I want, <laughs> I would have already figured that out and I'd already be at that place. But there comes a time when you have to sit still, be content, 
and and give it to God and be obedient in letting him handle certain things so that's so not to drag anything out so that's where I'm at I'm, I'm just at that space where I'm like all right like I get it God like I got it I know everything is gonna come together as it always has in the past certain things that I did not even think was possible to happen for me has happened you know when I look back over my life come on church people and I think things over you know I, I look back over my life and I see how God has just made ways out of no ways how God has allowed certain things to happen whether it was good or bad but it all worked to, to it all worked together you know it didn't make sense in certain cases but eventually it made sense and you know I'm just kind of at that space now where it's like all right like I you know I don't get it all the time but I get it I'm starting to get it more but it, it all teaches you know the endurance it always teaches you how to just really lean and surrender um, to God for the next which of course then that's where faith comes into play you got to surrender some stuff and let God handle the rest so even when it comes to moving I currently don't know where I'm moving or when I'm moving I don't have a when or a where do I have a few locations yes out of state yes out of Virginia and in Virginia like I have several places that I am interested in but of course I don't want to move <laughs> If God didn't say I want to make sure I'm in position I'm focused on the things I need to focus on I'm doing the things I need to do for me and just yeah just do those things and and it's and it's hard but it's a process it's again sometimes that being obedient is to sometimes doing the hard thing you know so again there's just there's not a lot going on but there's just some moving pieces happening and I'm trying to even in this moment, I'm at peace with everything. I'm at peace. I'm at peace because I can't get myself worked up over the things that I cannot control. And even the things I have tried to control and have go a certain way, not to manipulate anything, but just because I want it so bad. It's like even in that, release, give it to God, let God handle it. And even as I was praying earlier, I was telling him you know I'm like all right God I'm releasing some certain you know certain things to you and I literally heard him like and let me handle it period like you know so I just wanted to say that to encourage anyone if you are like worried about something waiting on God for something you know this is just the time to build that endurance because in James 1 and 2 it says count it all joy when you go through various situations because it's in these moments in these it's in these times when endurance is built your faith is tested and i know we're probably all tired of hearing oh it's a test it's a test it's a test like well i'm tired of taking the test i get it <laughs> but ultimately you cannot please god in any way unless you believe so at this point you need something i have made it to north carolina i am in north north carolina i'm currently in greensboro north carolina at the moment i'm literally passing the um I believe these are some of the apartments or the dorm rooms for a and College. Like, if you know about North Carolina, like, I'm passing through, like, Gay City Boulevard. So, if you know about that, then, yeah, I'm passing through, like, Gay City Boulevard. Um, I'm headed to the next charging station. I'm about... I'm a little less than four miles from the next charging station. So, when I get there, I'll be at 20%. So, I will have to, like kind of pit stop and just chill for a little bit so I may pick the camera back up then and talk with you guys some more if not I'll probably just read my book as I wait and then I will be continuing my travels to Charlotte so BRB y'all oh my goodness my curls have dropped so this is all y'all getting right now for my hair mind you for some reason all of my nails were like lifting so this drive has like I'm so ready to be home, but I ripped up, I ripped off all my nails. They came off so easy this time. I don't know, but I'm gonna have to show y'all my hair in a little bit. But anyway, I am back in my hometown. I just pulled up. I was on 7%. That is the lowest I have ever been on my battery percentage. And the only reason why it was so low is because the last charging space, the last charging port I went to was back in North Carolina. But as soon as that thing said, oh, you have enough to get home. 
Oh, I said bye. Cause even if even if I'm on zero when I get to the house, there's a good several miles that I am from this charger port. So I knew it said I was gonna be at five percent when I got home. I said, Oh, I'll make it. At least I'll make it here to get me to at least like just a little bit of percent or whatever. Just a little sign. I will say this though, I love my Tesla. But Teslas are not for long road trips, babe. And I feel like every person has a Tesla has said the same thing. Like, y'all probably watched them, but like I was watching uh, Monet and Jalen on um, TikTok, the couple. Monet's really popular and so is he, but like, I'm sure y'all heard of them. But he just recently moved to like her neck of the woods so they could live closer together, which was so cute. But he has a Tesla and he drove supposedly 22 hours to move but it was only that long i think it was so many hours plus six more hours and six hours was just charging in total and he put that hook the car up and put it in neutral okay ain't nobody ain't nobody ain't nobody ain't nobody ain't nobody ain't nobody i'm not doing a long super long road trip like this one wasn't a long road trip it was three hours to three hours back home even when I went to see Sunny and uh, my friend Laysla, like at the concert, like in the last vlog, that was three hours. Stopped once. And I full, a full tank, a full battery, I would have gotten there. I would have just been on empty when I got there. But so, of course, you stop beforehand so you can get a little bit of charge. But I'm already on 32%. So, guess what? See y'all at the house. BRB. Grace and peace and good morning. Well, I gotta switch y'all to my other camera. I'm back at home. I know I'm on the camera. Listen, grace and peace. And good morning to my beautiful people, my beautiful subscribers. How are y'all doing this morning? Y'all, I'm going through it. I got home. Well, I was on the road a long time yesterday. Cause again, I told y'all I wanted to get my hair done, which I'm gonna have to figure out how to wrap my hair. Cause I woke up this morning and it looked kind of crazy. But I don't even feel good right now, so I really don't care. I ended up ordering this big curling iron that she was using. I see a lot of content creators and YouTubers and stuff like that using it. It's called like a T3, T3 curling iron ceramic. I don't know. I kind of regret getting the white one because I saw the stylist that did my hair. I saw how hers, and it's just, I mean, it's white. So like over time, it's gonna have like those burnt mark looking things and you know, stuff like that. So I was like, mm, maybe I shouldn't get the white one, but I was impulsive and I got the white one. There's that. Anyway, outside of that, um, I'm feeling okay. Today is day one of my cycle. So when I tell you I am like cramped up, like body just feels like, <sighs> I don't feel good. Just put it that way. But it's Friday, it is November the 17th. And I have a little bit of work to do today. I need to catch up on some stuff that I didn't get to quite do yesterday. I trash things, wow. Yeah, I didn't get to quite do yesterday. I did a little bit. So with that, I wanna um, catch up on that work. There is a campaign, not, not too crazy, but there is a campaign I do wanna work on and get that submitted today and all of that good stuff. Um, so we're finishing off the Friday pretty strong nonetheless. I'm feeling, I'm, I'm gonna make sure I feel all right. I'm about to take some Tylenol. Tylenol usually works pretty good for me on my cycle. So I'm gonna pop some Tylenol real quick. I'm about to light a candle cause my little trash, like my hidden trash can in my kitchen. Like, I don't know if y'all knew this, but I have a hidden trash can in my kitchen. So I just took the bag out, but here's the trash can. But it's just like another drawer. So it looks like a cabinet drawer pulls out. <clears throat> and it's just this little trash can, but it's very small. So it's not a whole lot I can put in here all the time. But it's like my bigger trash can don't even be smelling. So like I have two trash cans. So I have a bigger one that I use. When I do it right, I use it for recyclables. But most of the time, I'll be honest, I don't use it like that all the time. 
But my bigger trash, like if I have like hypothetically, let's say like a pizza box or something, like I'll put it in my bigger trash can. Now this is for like smaller trash, like napkins, little things like that. But stuff just be stinking. So I'll be going for these trash bags that have like, like they smell like something. So I told y'all before I had these green ones that smell like some kind of Febreze stuff. So that's my last one. So then I just got these, but these are max strength. And then the smell is a Febreze freshness. It's like beachside breeze. And it smells really good. I try to do it this way to mask, like, you know, the smells and stuff. At least try <clears throat> somewhat, but it be stinking. <laughs> Whatever I put in my trash can stinks sometimes and I, I got in last night, I was so tired. Like Avery eats like wet dog food. If that joint sits out, it will stink. So she went over to her food bowl, getting ready to get some food out and she was about to eat it. I'm like, uh-uh, hold on. But literally as I'm getting older, you guys, things are like different. Like my cycles are becoming a little unbearable. I find myself having to like really take the day off to kind of sit and do nothing because it hurts so bad. The last cycle, I didn't do anything. Like I remember I didn't do anything at all. I sat in the bed all day long. Well, probably on the couch all day long. Um, <clears throat> I mean, earlier this year, it wasn't that bad. Like I would get up on the day of my cycle and be, man, I'd be at the gym, which I hear that that helps. And in the past it has helped, but nowadays, I'd be darned if I go to the gym, yet alone get up and move something around in here. No, but anyway, I'm about to switch out to my big boy camera that I usually vlog with BRB. Oh man, why is this camera dead? <gasps> oh goodness gracious, help me Jesus. So I ain't even, anyway. Oh, but let me show y'all a little bit more of the hair. Okay, my camera's be on it, but so right now this is how long it is. I did like, I think she said it's like a, 20, 22 to 24, something like that. She put layers in it, all of that jazz. Um, like I said, it was curled real cute yesterday. How I wrapped it last night kind of messed it up. So I'm not gonna put any more heat on it right now. I'm gonna just let it chill until my curling iron gets here because the last thing I wanna do is put like some super tight curls in it. Like I don't wanna do that. I want like, I don't want like the loose waves or whatever. And then, um, I want to use this new hairspray and see if I like it because right now I use the Kenra hairspray and I wanna see if this other hairspray works really, really good um, and see if that will change the game for me. So I do wanna try that. But um, since it's early in the morning, I couldn't sleep in that long cause I was cramping so bad. So since it's pretty early in the morning, Amazon was like, if you order within the next three hours, we can get it to you tomorrow. I said period. But it's all good. Y'all, when I tell you Catrice and these lip oils, baby, so good. But I'm about, I am about to take some medicine. I do have one more Olipop. And it's literally just like flavored, cause y'all know I like my carbonated water and stuff. So this is just kind of like another version of like carbonated water, it's no sugar. Oh, oh, I see why I don't like it. It's got sugar. Total sugar is four grams, including four grams of added sugar, 8%. Yeah, I see why I don't like it. Because my Perrier's don't have sugar. I don't want to sit on the couch, because sitting on the couch is going to make me want to ball up. Ooh, sitting on the couch is going to make me want to ball up and sleep. And I don't necessarily want to like get sleepy. Hi, Tooks. Oh, yeah, I can't sit on the couch. Hi, Tuka Foot. Good morning. Look at the gale. Hey, boo. You wanna watch Danny Phantom? So I've been putting, I've been putting Bluey on for her. Because, I don't know if you guys know, but like, they said this show, something has happened to my, like my volume button don't work. I might need to reset it. Cause yeah, my volume button ain't even working. Um, anyway. Yeah, but they says Bluey has the colors that dogs can see. Avery, what? Hi, sweetie. Oh, you coming to say hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. You do. 
How you doing, everybody? She got a little haircut. Avery looks so cute. You all right, mama? Avery, you gonna watch Bluey? Mm, are you gonna watch Bluey? My girl? It's my baby. And kiss. Mwah. Thank you, mama. Mwah. Okay, that's enough. Thank you. But she don't let me kiss you. She be ready to jump off the couch. <laughs> she be ready to jump all the way off the couch when I want to kiss her. Oh, I am hurting so bad. I'll be back when this medicine kick in. We are beat. Hey, you guys. I am getting ready to, <clears throat> I'm headed to the bank right now. I need to make a quick deposit. And then, so yeah, I need to go to the bank and make a quick deposit. And then I was going to try to find some breakfast of some kind. I don't know what I want just yet. That is a bank. That is, my mom is so smart. That is a bank. I'm not feeling the best in my body because I'm cramping up real bad, but I do need to go eat something. The bank looks packed. Do, 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 do. The bank looks packed. All right, I'm gonna run in here to the bank and I'll be back. Okay, I feel like I haven't given y'all like a full, full blown look at my hair. My other camera is charging, so I'm gonna let that one just be for now. So I'm gonna. So we're just gonna be on here. <laughs> um, but this, I just went to Target. I got a hot comb. And I feel like I'm really in like, I don't know. I'm not even gonna say an era. I'm just trying new things, but I've actually never had a hot comb. I need to learn how to use it before I burn my head up. I really kind of got it for my edges because the way people be using hot combs and that joint be on them edges and the roots. I was like, yeah. But also, this is the flat iron that I had been talking about getting. I had never opened it. I literally put it under my tree because it was it's for me. But I was like, I'm going to just leave it here because I'm not going to use it right now. I'm going to use it because my curls fell. And I want to, like, obviously put a little more, like, oomph in it. But my new curl now doesn't come until tomorrow that I was telling you guys about. So I got to wait. But I was waiting for this. Um, because it was $90 at Target. I was not about to pay $90 for no flat iron. I just won't, okay? I just won't. And it finally went on sale, and then I used some of my Target points and stuff. So I got this flat iron for probably like 30 bucks, even though this was an original $90. And it was sold out. It was sold out when I was in DC last. They ain't have it in there. It's definitely sold out at my store. And it was just like... But I really love it, but it's so pretty. It's by Kristen S. Or I'm not even sure how to pronounce it, but it's so pretty. It's white, it's gold. On the inside right here, power buttons on here. I'm gonna assume. Yeah, so my favorite foundation, you guys know, is this L'Oreal Paris, it's the Tinted Serum. The original applicator is a dropper. I had to get rid of that. I literally used another foundation that I had, took that off so that way it could operate as a pump because that dropper, I'm sorry, this foundation is amazing, but that dropper is like very annoying. Very, 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 very annoying. And I'm doing my makeup out of order. This is my season for grace, for favor. This is my season, yes, to reap what I have sown. He's leaning in my direction. Oh boy, hey y'all. <sighs> Let me tell y'all something. Being on your cycle. It's like I be forgetting how much it takes out of me. I be, it's lucky like I almost put a little too much on myself and I be doing stuff and then I'm like, oh wait, I'm actually really tired. Like what the heck am I doing? I just, I don't know. Honestly, not in the best of the best mood, but 
We work through it anyhow. This is how my hair came out. But see, this is me doing it with like them little skinny flat irons. Like that works for my bob. Like that works for my shorter hair. This longer hair, I need like a full blown uh, thing. So I'm really excited to see if that, I mean, when that curl and iron will get here. I'm not having a bad day, but I've just had better days. But I look pretty, I feel good. I just got this sweater from Target. It's literally like, I don't know. I just like little sweaters like this. They make me feel comfortable. It's not too much. It's not doing too much. Let me tell y'all something. Being called higher, even being pulled higher in God is like, it's crazy.